Top three cycling tips. Let's go. Number one, always wear a helmet. You might be thinking, uh, duh, but you'd be surprised at the amount of people that think they don't need to wear a helmet when they're riding around the block or to the shops or a couple Ks around their neighborhood. You'd think it's a given, but it's not. It's a very stupid and poor choice not to wear a helmet because a lot of nasty crashes happen near your own home. A helmet will save your life on many occasions. Just ask yourself, would you rather a cracked helmet or a cracked skull? I know there's some people out there as well that think it's cool not to wear a helmet here and there, but is it cool when you're lying in the stretcher with your head gushing out blood and you have to glue your skull back together? I don't think so. Helmets look good. They're part of the kit. They're part of the sport. They help to represent cycling and their inspiration as well. So find a helmet that you like and that fits your head comfortably. Don't just go and buy a specific model because it's trending and your mates have it. Buy one that fits your head and that you know you can always wear. Next is gloves. Gloves are also very important. Helmet is number one because a helmet will save your life. Gloves won't save your life, but they will save the skin on your hands. If you happen to crash, you don't want to tear the skin on your palms. That's really going to hurt. It's a sensitive area. And if you gash them up, then you aren't going to be able to use your hands properly for quite a while while they heal. So I have short fingered gloves for the summer and long fingered gloves for the winter. Just a little quick tip with gloves. It's always good to get them just maybe a tiny bit bigger instead of smaller because if they're too small, they're going to cut in and cut off your circulation and cause numbness while they're on the handlebars. Number two, visibility. Be safe, be seen. I cannot stress this enough. If you've followed my content for a while now, you would know that I'm very big on pink kit. I've got multiple fluoro pink jerseys, a fluoro pink jacket, fluoro pink helmet and gloves, and I'm soon going to have a pink bike as well. It doesn't have to be pink. You've got fluoro orange, yellow and green as well. Bright and fluoro colors are the name of the game. I recommend getting a non-fade fluoro helmet, the Laser Z1, Laser Tonic, Cask Mojito, Cask Proton, and SH Plus Shabli are all fantastic non-fade helmets, which you can get in fluoro colors. If you know any more, drop a line in the comment section down below. Dark kit is what's trending at the moment. People are forking out hundreds and hundreds of dollars on black, navy and dark gray cycling clothing. And in my honest opinion, it's really silly because do you want cars to see you or not? And not just cars, bus drivers, truck drivers, van drivers. When you're out on the road, it's really difficult to see the cyclists that are in dark, dark colors. But as soon as a rider has a fluoro helmet, jacket or jersey, you can see them from well up the road and they really stand out. You want to make yourself as safe as possible. Those dark colors, man, they blend in with the road, literally, and with the other cars and the trees. If you want to take it to the very next level, get yourself some reflective tape as well. It's cheap and you just cut it up and stick it. You can put it on the back of your helmet or onto your frame and you will light up the streets. Number three, pay attention. Head up, carved up. Treat every driver as if they are a drunken idiot. Don't trust anybody. We live in a world now of carb and sugar phobia. People are driving their cars in ketosis, high on caffeine, Adderall, Ritalin. People are drunk. People drive stoned. 
People are high on meth, fentanyl. You cannot trust them. That's not to say there aren't experienced and good drivers out there who pay attention. 100% there are. But you cannot control the circumstances. You don't know who's going to be out on the road that day. Doesn't matter how tired you are. Say you're riding home and you're thinking, oh, can't wait to have a hot shower, can't wait to have a meal, can't wait to get into bed. Don't let your mind wander like that. Always have your head up because some real catastrophic shit happens. Always have sugar and water in your system. Bring water on your bike and bring snacks as well. If you don't have any snacks or you run out, stop, get off your bike, go to the shop and buy some. Get the sugar in so your brain can function normally and optimally again so you can get home safely. Thank you for watching. I hope you got something out of this. Comments, questions, video suggestions down below. I'll see you guys out on the road.